Hi, it's Brittany from The Emporium. Welcome back to my vlog, my channel. Welcome back to my channel because this is vlog 12 for 2024. And it's a couple days late. It's fine. Everything is okay. Everything is awesome. Uh, my son's birthday was last weekend and so it was his party. And I was trying to finish some stuff and I was just really tired. And I was like, oh, vlog's in me a couple days late. It's fine. No one asked. I guess it's not the highlight of everyone's every other Saturday. Oh, darn. <laughs> I, I kid, kind of. Um, so in this vlog, you will see me finish painting. I, I think I finished painting last time. Yeah. Sounds about right. I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure I put my thread <laughs> up and my pegboard, so that's done. Um, all my vinyl is up here now. Um, I brought my hardware up, but not finalized on it yet. And I'm working on clearing out the closet so I can paint it. <clears throat> I feel like I'm losing my voice. And, um, so it's like Monday night, the 17th, and tomorrow, the 18th, um, we're gonna go see Taking Back Sunday, which is my favorite band. Um... I think I get to meet them tomorrow. Ah, I go with my ex-husband. So, so weird. Um, my boyfriend was like, oh, great. He's taking you on a better date than me. Uh, but anyways, uh, he got a hold of two, uh, like, pre-show acoustic Q&A something, potentially meet and greet. Um, yeah, so I get to go. It's amazing. Um, and then after that, I'm going to the regular concert with my brother. So I know I'm just me screaming. Uh, so I feel like the next tutorial I'll record is, uh, gonna be rough. Apologies in advance. Anyways, um, I am running a Halloween pre-order right now for cotton woven and smooth vinyl. Um, I opted to not do webbing this time. I don't want too many webbing pre-orders open. I don't want to, like, get buried with that. It is, um, a higher minimum order quantity, MOQ, if you will, uh, for that. So, um, I just, one at a time. Uh, but there's, like, 14 different prints I picked, and that was me narrowing it down. So, there's a bunch of awesome ones. I will show you three of them real quick. Uh, so we have Let's Get Spooky, Ghost Muse, and Lisa Frank Halloween. So, there are, like I said, 14 of them. Uh, they're on my website under pre-order. There's a whole category. Um, I will link it also. And the pre-order is open through June. So once we hit July, I will close it so that we can get it in as soon as possible for Halloween. Um, <clears throat> the next two weeks, between now and the next vlog, I'm going to get my office or my closet painted. I'm going to finalize off, hopefully, everything that I want up here um, and have that all done and just keep working. I'm hoping to start doing regular um, finished item drops again now that I'm finally back to making things and it feels so good. Um, I'm going to work on my pattern that I hope to release probably like October-ish, hopefully. Um, and I will be teaching at So Whatever Studio again in December, and it's going to be that pattern. So, aiming for October, and, um, I was supposed to go to North Carolina to teach in, um, two weekends, but unfortunately I won't be able to, um, so Beth and I won't be going and doing that. Um, we are talking to Sandra. Um, I think she might still have it available, um, for people that already signed up to go, but she would be the instructor. So, um, there is that change. Um, let's see what else. That, I thought I started to write stuff down. That must be it. Anyways, um, I'll show you things I made and me hanging some stuff up and some mail I got. I got sewing blurbs, I got um, more me know orders, I got Georgia Girl stitches. Yeah, I hope to have multiple tutorials out soon. I actually did three lives 
this past week and I hadn't done any in like over a month so I hope you enjoy if you haven't already subscribed I would love if you did um, just forever working towards that and I hope you have a great day bye well not bye yet but you know enjoy the rest of the vlog all right here we go started moving stuff ignore the messy bathroom deal with that later um got some holes patched took down the railing thing but i'm gonna try to knock out painting this today by tomorrow okay again we're not looking at the bathroom coat number one is on can't wait to get everything where it belongs Ooh, this will be a sneak later so much pink but i love it i wouldn't have necessarily done all that pink but it was already green so um previous owners determined it's part of the wall so one more coat and i should be good yay i finished painting i need to take the tape off and let it dry and then i can start moving things in and then um i'm gonna start hanging stuff up over here Maybe tonight. Donna just came to say hi. I am building an Alex to go there. I'm thinking about taking my heat press off that cart and setting it where these Alexes are going to go. It's down maybe four or five inches lower than usually, but with this angle of the ceiling, I can't put the cart against that wall. And I had it over here. And I just feel like I don't want the cart there. I don't have as much space. But I got the tabletop on these. Oh, I got my nails done today. And then I painted. So, but look at that. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna build this. I've got templates waiting to go in it. Okay, so really late last night we got the three pegboards I bought hung up. Um, I took the heat press off that cart and it's there. It is down lower than like I normally do, but I think it'll work really well. I gotta figure out my regular printer, the black one. I don't know where exactly it's going. It's just sitting on the other one right now. Ooh, sorry. Uh, but I'm gonna figure out what I'm hanging on these shelves or pegboards. And then these shelves are going up here. I have seven. So the idea is like six of them will be V'd in, like three rows, and then probably one on this side below those three rows. And that's where all of my big cones of thread are gonna go I'm really excited I've been working on hanging my threads um I have two more of these shelves to do one more up there I've just struggled because the thread on the top are shorter and these are taller but I need to space them all the same so there's be more of a gap and in my head I'm like that's gonna look funny but if I need to um rearrange later i'm gonna need that plus i have some amon that are taller too so but they are looking so cute okay here is my end of the weekend update so my kung na i just threw some things on there i need to get some more stuff for the pig birds but i wasn't sure what i needed i'm still figuring it out my thread is up. It looks so good. Uh, I just need to figure out, like, these tip-out drawers, exactly how I'm going to put them over there. Um, I still have a couple of drawers in this available. I need to bring binding up, and I also have my webbing I'm trying to figure out. I'm going to hang a picture up there. I'm going to put a couple there. Um, I had ordered the wrong size frames. And then I got one white and two pink, and the pink ended up being, like, peachy. But I'm so excited. I got this last October at the Cleveland Cat Show. But I'm gonna 
put the white frames up on this wood paneled wall. And then the closet had tons of tubs stacked right here and here with my cotton lycra fabric. fabric. And I got them put away. I'll show you in a second. Um, so one of these has like webbing in it. One is full of waterproof canvas. This shelf had been sitting here for a while. Um, I'm going to take all the waterproof canvas and it's going to be in here on shelves. There's going to be like one desk back here. Thea's um, sewing machine is going to be on it, but I need to paint this closet pink still. Um, I gotta put my thread for, like, other machines in here. And so, like, my embroidery machine, my serger, my cover stitch, and my domestic will be in this closet. But I'll be able to pull them out as needed. Um, this is what this is looking like. I need to move the black printer. It's my regular printer. The white one is my sublimation. But... I have templates all in these. They literally could not have fit better. Still figuring out this pegboard. All my interfacing that's going to go in the closet. This is looking pretty good. I just have that uh, artwork sitting up there right now. But there's that. Dirty bathroom. Trash bag. Uh, so I got the tabletop on these I haven't actually attached it I'm not 100% sure how I'm doing it yet and then um vinyl is gonna go under there and the way this sticks out I feel like I could hang some stuff there if I want to um all of my cotton wovens have been here for maybe like two weeks and then so same deal over here I'll be able to put vinyl and cork and then here is, it's hard to show because it's like a hallway. Here is all of my cotton lycra. I have so much. I don't know why I have so much. These are the frames I'm returning because they said they're pink and they're a very peachy pink. So you can tell like how much they clash with my wall. I'll have to put some artwork here. Not sure what yet. And then... This is my, like, retail wall. Um, I emptied eight bins. I'm going to load them with vinyl from the basement and bring them up. And then that cart. Oh, don't look at the poop bag. <laughs> I just changed the litter about it. I got to take it down. Um, that cart is what my heat press sat on and I'm not going to be using it anymore. Um, my, I have a real big art piece that's going there. It's, um, Gabby and Roxy, and this is an Imperium. Gabby and Roxy were my cats I had when I started my business. Um, this wall, I'm gonna put something on it. Probably, I'm, I'm debating doing, like, the embroidery hoops. It's just weird, because, like, it won't be seen very much. But, yeah. Um, I have a couple sun catchers that have been in the living room. I'm going to put in these windows. Get in somewhere. Get in somewhere. Alright. Got some things to share. I'm so excited about this. Okay. Um, I got two orders from Mormino. So, if you don't know, Lauren sells dresses and some other clothing items with prints that she has done. So, like, this is one that she doesn't have on her website, but you could always email for. But it's so... It's the flirtin. Obsessed. So excited for this. I've wanted it for a while. Um, and she was ordering some other dresses that were, like, custom orders from C2E2. And I was like, I want a flirtin. Okay. Anyways, my other order. I'm pretty sure this is just hardware, but we can look at it. If I remember right, it's just all hardware to make Rowena's and zipper tape. Double bag. Yeah. 
I pack stuff well. So if you ever are in doubt. Okay. I got oh. I thought I just got the zipper tape. Apparently I got it with zipper pulls. Sweet. Got rose gold on white. Some zipper pulls. And then I got the rose gold number three Connor pack. So the Connor packs are black, gray, and white. So um, the reason I got the number three is I want to make matching wallets. Um, I just think it'd be fun because, okay, so I was going to share this. So I finished this Juno clutch wallet. It's a pattern from Sonar, but I used a number three zipper. So I was trying to plan some Rowena's and I didn't have the matching hardware for everything, but this is so cute. So I used my vinyl. Um, in my space case print. Now, the background on this one is rainbow. That is exclusive to me. I can't sell vinyl with the rainbow background. I can sell the items. Um, but I do sell it with this regular purple background. So this is my cotton woven that I used to line this zipper pocket. So cute. I really liked it. Um, I did a tutorial for this one was part of another sewing marathon. Um, I need to practice making this some more. These are a little uneven, but it's okay. Might keep it for myself. We'll see. Might sell it at a discount. Don't know yet. I, fig I figure I'll make some matching sets and decide what I want to do. Okay. So anyways, this is all rose gold. I've been ordering nickel, black nickel, and rainbow. And I'm not ordering, like, other finishes unless I'm like, oh, hey, I have these two purses I'd like to make. Um, but so we've got the fancy square rings. Um, so I got three-fourth inch and one inch. Um, I got strap ends, which I'm going all out. Um, and then I got... I forget the what oh I have them I got um the lobster clasp guys and the slider in one inch and one and a half because I don't know what I need and then the thin magnets and a bunch of d-rings so in this bag oh okay they put the zipper pulls in the zipper pack okay I was like I really my child is downstairs barking oh shoot it's trash night it's an alarm okay yes so I got why is he barking <laughs> okay um the and I went to Michael's today because I picked up one more set of those Someone asked in my last vlog about those, and I swear they have not sold them for the last couple years. I've tried to find them, could not find them, and they're like, oh, I just sold them at Michael's, so I went and picked another one up. They don't sell the pink anymore, so it's just white. So they come in, like, it's a four by two, so I took all the pink and put them at the top. But I think I'm going to mount it on the wall right there. Just so I can't tip him over. He's just, he's just making weird noises. My daughter is with my mom for the night. And he's going tomorrow night. Um, anyways, so I picked those up at Michael's. And then... Yeah, oh, I forgot I got my mom something. Look at these cute kitties. I wish I was doing pride. Just so I can make stuff with this. But that's okay. I'm going to make a couple things this month. And we'll sell them online. And then Thea picked out... It's hard to tell. These are like a peachy pink and then you've got black and orange cats. I just wanted to let her pick out some fabric so when she starts to sew a little. Um, she's got some kitty charms. 
to her bracelet making stuff. I got these from my mom. I forgot to get them to her. They look like golden retrievers. Bookmarks. So, um, I had made a couple mouse pads like a week or two ago. Well, I made using these randomly colors just aren't picking up right. I'll have to figure that out. Um, that is a Haley Snyder designs file. Um, the Space Kitties are also Haley Snyder. Um, I have a coupon code. Um, I'm like on a team, but it's Dango, D-A-N-G-O. I, I didn't pick it. <laughs> um, and then I had made this one. Um, Hex Reject had a drop for like Monster High dolls, and I guess they have like um, characters. I don't know. There must be a Jack and Sally. I don't know anything about them, but I made that. So that was cool. Um, Hex Reject also had a Boo Tanicles drop. I had planned to sew this live last week and my power went out so it's so cute um it's going to be the clematis by blue Cala. i have a video for a clear one and it's one of my top five videos that have been watched but i'm thinking about making a tutorial for this one um so I need to do that and my fabric hack purse pal so hopefully those are both recorded by the time this vlog goes up and at least one of those is up I was gonna record tonight and I was like you know what just shower in the morning do my hair do some videos while he is with my mom we'll see so yeah I'm gonna work at my office some more Hopefully cut some Rowena's. Yeah, see you in the next clip. I bought these 24 drawers. I got them on Amazon. I'll put them in my Amazon store. They're so cool. Um, they did come with these little like sticky rubber feet. I had to put them on all of them, but it was fine. But they perfectly will fit in these Alex drawers. Like perfectly even with the feet and then the feet keep them like grippy so I'm probably gonna buy another set or two got my blurbs um I was like I'm gonna record this really quick because my friend was just like oh there's Brittany's gonna be so excited I was like let me open it real quick no spoilers I don't mind, but like sometimes I know what's in it real early, and it's fun because I'll forget, but then I have found out, oh snap, <laughs> oh, <laughs> I don't know if you saw what was in there, I'm really excited, okay, as always there's a QR code tells you what's in there, oh my god. Holy crap. I can't believe the extra that's in here. Okay. So, we've got our five tags. Four and then one Zodiac. Um, so, this is drink more water with a little lime slice. And then the back is little heart polka dots. Uh... Bon Voyage. Cute. Who needs vacation when quality time was spent making this? Cute. So those were the same on front and back. And then... <laughs> I bet Lauren made this one. Step into the daylight and let it go. If I had to guess, Lauren made that. And then we have Cancer, Loyal, Strong, Gentle. And so it's a white on a light pink. It's really cute, but a little hard to 
pick up on the camera. The extra this month is a little baby cone of wizardry thread. It is fairy floss tech 60 Egyptian cotton. I think this is the one you can use um, like on domestic machines, which is cool because I don't think I had it for my I might have had it for my domestic. Either way, it's so cute. So excited. I was like, what? Because like the, the mailer was pretty like puffed up. So the, it didn't break at all, which is awesome. Um, yay. So there's blurbs for June. <laughs> oh, I was at the pool all day. My hair is just, uh, just gonna let it fade. Probably put some pink in it. Um, yeah. Oh, I made a Rowena too, but it's downstairs. I'm gonna make some more. Hopefully I have like two more to share in this vlog. We'll see. I think I've mentioned a couple times that I can like wave my hand and it'll start. It did not work. I was just, hi, hi. Anyways, so this is the fun part of the vlog where I'm going to show you some mail I got and all of the things I made because I haven't been recording as I go. It's fine. Okay, I got webbing from Georgia Girl Stitches. I've been eyeing it for a while. <clears throat> I didn't like as much the like woven chevron jacquard however you call it webbing um but then i got a scrap of some for a rosie at so whatever studio and i'm like okay i like it so i ordered a bunch i thought i ordered more than this <laughs> maybe the total made it feel more um okay oh cute okay um, also, it shipped pretty fast. Um, I ordered it, like, late at night, and it shipped the next morning. And, uh, okay, so today's Monday. Technically, it came today. It was supposed to come on Saturday, and I ordered it on Tuesday. I don't know if I ordered it after midnight. I ordered it on the 12th, and I got it today on the 17th. But I should have gotten it on the 15th, but, um, USPS, like, play games. You know. Um, it's so cute. I always put a really cute thank you in. It's literally like, thanks, Brittany. Enjoy, Gabby. Hey there. Thank you for your purchase. Hope this package brightens your day as much as your purchase has ours. Cute. Some Jelly Bellies. Um, they're sour. I will give those to my son. Okay, so I got... Um, all of these except for one are six yard cuts. The rainbow is a four yard cut. Um, I also really wanted the pastel rainbow and it was sold out. Um, I was a little sad about that, but it is what it is. These are all one and a half inch wide. I got neon pink. Okay. If you've been around or followed my makes for any a time, I love the... Rainbow Sewing Soots print from Fabric Therapy, and it's on like a black and white um, striped background. And I love pairing it with like neon pink vinyl. And I was thinking of making a Rowena. Oh, it has to happen now, okay? Um, but this is the rainbow. I thought I had this. Um, a couple places do sell some of these webbings. Um, they're not like exclusive. Um, maybe a color is maybe not. I'm not sure. But um, I thought I had this from Warm Me Know. Apparently I don't. I, I don't think I used it. But anyways. Thick Chevron Rainbow. I got sh uh, light pink and white. It's kind of like an off white. I got hot pink chevron it is like okay i'll put these together so like it's not neon 
and it's not light pink but when you put these together you can tell it's it's pretty i like it um mint chevron and then um black and off-white so i think the white is like the same as the rest of them but when you see it next to it might be a little bit more off but so there's light pink hot pink black and mint the rainbow and the neon pink so this one's like a seatbelt webbing i'm excited because i was ordering these because i realized i've been making smart bags and crossbodies i just don't feel like making crossbodies and also those like woven chevrons i feel like they look nicer with like a nicer bag than just a plain webbing okay i'm gonna show you some things i made this is my car trash can i made with a brand new hex reject print i did this one live okay um also i just want to say something i appreciate anyone who watches at any time any video um but i've had a couple comments lately on uh lives where people are upset that i'm not explaining what i'm doing and um that's why i do tutorials too it's really hard to try to say every step that i'm doing when i'm live because i want to interact also and i feel like it's very hard to do both so i kind of try to explain what i'm doing but also the lives are just more relaxed um but for the most part anything i sew live i either have or will make a tutorial for so it just, it's not that it's like mean, but it makes me feel bad when people are like, well, you should be doing this. And I get it. But anyways, this is my car trash can. This is um, a new Hex Reject print and it is running in my Halloween pre-order right now. And this one is called Let's Get Spooky. So that's what I picked for the name of it. Okay. Car trash can. Um... This is a Karomi new file that Hex Reject ran, and this is, um, oh, okay, hang on. Car Trash Can is a free pattern from Warm Me Now. This is, um, the Noodle Head pencil pouch. It's on their, like, blog. Um, it is, like, it usually is, like, divided, like, you piece two pieces together, but I just use the lining piece for the exterior and the lining. Okay. Here's a Tuesday tote. Oh, there are my logos on that side. Um, I am running this print in my Halloween order. It's the LFHW print, so Lisa Frank Halloween. Uh, but I used my Groovy. I wish you could see it better. It's like a neon rainbow thread. So good. Um, Hex Reject print. More Me Know. Um, Little Black Outfit Glitter Vinyl. And then I lined it in pink. So good. Another Tuesday tote. Oh, the Tuesday tote is from Knotted Threads Co. This is the Ghost Muse print. And it is running in my Halloween pre-order pre as well. Um, this vinyl is from Warm Me Know. Um, there's a secret bag I tested. I'm going to show you this much of it. I'll show it to you soon. Okay. Um, okay. And then I made two Rowena's, which is the brand new pattern from Knotted Threads Co. And I am obsessed with it. Um, so I sewed one on my own. Well, I, I made them both on my own, but like, well, okay. My friend Tiff was over when I did the first, like, three-fourths of this one. So this is the regular Rowena. I used um, smooth vinyl that I saw on my website. So like this is the 1989 Cats vinyl and then I accented it in cork. I made a two-tone strap but this pattern oh, I love it so much. So it pops open on the sides so that like there's more room to expand the bag if you overfill it and then 
the main panels, like our zipper pockets. So you have two main zipper pockets and they're pretty darn big. And then you have a recessed zipper in the middle and you have a slip pocket like underneath that. You could put another zipper pocket in here if you wanted, but with these, I don't really think you need to. Um, so I lined that in my sublimation fabric so that it would match the main print. Yeah, I'm obsessed. I, I'm going to make myself one. I just don't know what print yet. And then I made a minimalist version. So the pattern comes with the directions to do the minimalist. It's so cute. This is the watermelon vinyl from Warm Me Now. So without the crossbody strap on it, you can kind of see better. And the way she has you interface the side piece, like there's interfacing here so it'll bend in like that. So good. Like, you kind of have to train the purse to fold there at first. Um, but I love the way she has you do like these connectors they're like partially hidden like the back goes down in um yeah there it is with purse feet i put the purse feet on before i did like the accent stitch so i didn't do the accent stitch um i also use my fairy floss the red so it's like a little bit of a pop of pastel rainbow got one of my really cute kitty pulls from warm me now um okay so minimalist sorry there's no zipper pockets here so it's just a full drop in lining um the other one you have to do some tricks it is a bit but it is worth it um but on this one you just do the full drop in so with doing it this way you only have that slip pocket so I thought it would be really nice to put a zipper pocket in here doing the minimalist. I didn't do it this time, but I think if I make more like this, I, I definitely will just so you have a zipper pocket somewhere. Um, but this print on the inside, oh, I wish you could see it better. It is a really cute Boba Kitty print. I don't know why it won't show it brighter there um but it's a file from from Haley Snyder and this colorway is an exclusive so I can't sell it but I have it in three other background colors and I will run it sometime soon but I love this bag I want to make myself one for sure um I just have to decide I kind of want to do like this where it's just like a solid color Thea said I should do this vinyl for myself, so I need to buy more. <laughs> but uh, I just want a nice, like, classy handbag. I've been carrying the Rosie. I love the Rosie. Um, I made myself a new Rosie. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the Rosie. But I want, like, a nice handbag. Oh, also, this one, I did uh, inch wide straps, and the pattern calls for the three-fourth. I do like the three-fourth better, uh, but I have wanted to try that. So, <clears throat> yeah. There's all my makes. I think that's all my makes. I'm pretty sure that's all my makes, because I've been working on other stuff, too. But I'm so excited I get to make stuff more again. I'm hoping to do, like, a finished item drop in my group very soon. And we have the Halloween pre-order running. Um, don't forget to order. I never guarantee retail. Like, I do order retail, but it's expensive running a business. So, um, putting money out for retail and then it maybe not selling is, you know, a gamble. So, I always suggest if you want something for sure to pre-order it, that's guaranteed. Um, yeah. I'm going to show you... Uh, Real quick, like, what's on my table? I thought that would be fun, kind of. And then I'll walk you through the office real quick. Um, it's kind of a mess right now because I'm trying to get ready to paint the closet finally. So I've started moving things out. Um, 
but it's getting there, so yay. To end things off, I thought it'd be fun to do a little, what's at my table? <laughs> I don't know. Um, okay, so I'm sublimating some of this. The color will be different once it's sublimated. Sending it to my friend Beth. She's going to sew something up for the pre-order. Um, this is a seamless file I made. Clip art style for my son. For something for his birthday. I've got my Mr. Heckles templates out ready to make a custom for someone and record it for a video. I have this Meowloween, as I'm calling it, print um, ready to be cut out with black lace vinyl from Warm Me Know and a bunch of black hardware from Warm Me Know. It's going to be my Rowena tutorial. Um, <clears throat> I still have the Acid Critical Rose print ready for my project with Lauren this month. Um, I have this out for my Purse Pal fabric hack video. I have the Clematis still cut out to make a video. So that's what I'm currently hopefully working on. All right, so I'm going to end this also with the office update. Oh boy. Tomorrow's trash day. Um, I finally brought all of my zippers up. I thought I was going to have to condense down to two because there are these doors here. So like, that's uh, storage and this goes downstairs. But I was able to put two on one. I have all the zipper tape up here and the kitty door is still there. I need to repaint this door, but not pink probably. Okay. <clears throat> so, finally have my mug and tumbler presses up here. Um, I'm still working on emptying the closet, so those are some of Mike's clothes. It's kind of a mess up here. I will share all of these rosies once I have the full Taylor Swift Airs cat collection done. So, We'll see when that is. Um, still want to hang a couple pictures there. Still figuring out what's going to be up here. All of the vinyl is up. So we've got all of my printed vinyl, some 12 inch vinyl, jelly, clear, printed clear. This, um, this one goes all the way through to the other side. So like yards and long rolls. Um, I just spent a ton more money at Ikea. I'm going to fill this whole thing with these containers um, and they're going to practically touch, but I'm going to do all of my regular hardware and then um, like my favorite zipper pulls. So basically all of this is going to be up there plus some zipper pulls there and there. <clears throat> and then I'll probably have these still full of random zipper pulls and some like random hardware and they'll be in the closet um i brought this sun catcher up that was downstairs forever and my thread is up it is messy in here so i started clearing half the closet out at least so I can paint one half first still need to get these out that were my clothes and then I'll put some more shelves in here and at least like a desk on that side for Thea oh it's kind of messy um just a little busy my son's birthday was last weekend that's why the bullet's late okay so over here just gonna move that Okay, I had these by my machine before, but so they're two rows of four, and I had three of them, so one was pink and two were white. I went and bought another white one and um, just moved all the pink to the top. They, like, literally lock in, so just the top has, like, four screws holding it on the wall. Um, I got these little drawers from Amazon. I already added them to my storefront thing. You do have to put little grippies in them. 
but I have them dividing a bunch of stuff. Hey, I'm recording a video. There's a child coming upstairs. But I have all my rivets out. I was going to order some more rivets so this looked more impressive <laughs> before the video, but I'm just kidding. I do need more, though. Um, so I have different dies, um, cam stamps. Um, I'm not done. I had bought magnetic knife strips to put my bobbins like up on the wall or something, but I don't know. So I'm still going to put, see all my random bags. I'm still going to put my binding over here. Oh, I forgot I had three of them. I might put, um, webbing and then I need to put little things on the bottoms of those. Because they're on a tank top right now. Thea, yeah, would you like to show everyone your pink hair? Also, I got something in the mail for you. For real? Yeah. Oh, look at Thea's peekaboo. Peekaboo! Alright, watch out. So, we tried just a little bit of pink in her hair. Okay, um, I got something from Lauren for you. My empty can of pop. I see something. <laughs> Alright. Is this stored up? It's not fabric. What Here, take it? the bag. It is, you know, my flirkin dress that I wore the other day. It's a donut dress. Yeah, here, pick it up. Pick it. Here's the top. Can you hold it up so we can see it? Turn it around. <laughs> Cute. And then um, Lauren sent. She was sending out ties, like, for free. <laughs> but she ties! sent she sent Dom a bunch. Because he needs to wear um, ties with his okay, band. Okay, which one do I like? Uh, dress, dress clothes for band concerts. I like this Well, one. I think Dom's going to like the Slytherin one. Probably. <laughs> okay. Tell everyone, have a great week. Have a great week. Thanks for tuning into the vlog. Thanks for tuning into the vlog. Even if it was late. Even if it was late. And see you in the next video. See, and see you in the next video. And what should they do if they haven't already done? Um, just don't. Um, subscribe? Just don't subscribe. Don't subscribe? I mean subscribe. Oh, okay, cool. All right, say bye. Bye.